Are you guys sick and tired of your wife always complaining about your cheap drawers always falling apart because you were too cheap to buy nice cabinets? Well, we're gonna show you guys how to make a new drawer to replace your cheap cabinet drawer from falling apart. And step one, empty the drawer. Pretty simple step here. And I have tried fixing this drawer numerous times. It just keeps rebowing out and popping out of the grooves. So I'm just gonna make a new one. Well, most drawers have this simple little button here. You just apply pressure and pull out evenly and comes up pretty easy. So these are the slides I bought on Amazon. Cheap, beefy slides. Huge upgrade compared to these ones. So just look how much bigger these are compared to the stock ones. So we're gonna install these essentially the same exact way as these little guys and then get our measurement for the drawer. So your slides might be a little different, but these literally had one screw holding them on and I just gave a nice tug and they popped right out. So I was originally gonna do a rear mount bracket, but because the back panel was only an eighth inch thick, it didn't feel sturdy enough, so I ended up going a different route. So the slide goes into here, mounting it to the back like that, but because this back panel is so thin, I don't really feel good about it. And once the drawer is loaded up, I feel like it might pull out. So, I'm gonna trash this idea. And I'm just gonna add a piece of scrap wood to the edge here to make sure this slide stays nice, square, and solid. So since these didn't work, I'm just gonna set these aside. These are just pieces of scrap I had laying around the shop. So I'm just gonna countersink some holes and mount these into the cabinets. It's not gonna be as pretty, but you'll never see it once the drawer is installed. This is just a number 10 countersink fit. I just added a countersink hole to these to make the install go a little smoother. So I have replaced drawers to where the slides weren't that bad, but these were pretty bad, so we're just gonna replace the whole shebang. So I'm just gonna screw this in with some inch and a quarter screws, making sure the piece stays level. And now I'm gonna put the original screw back in so the height stays the same, along with three other screws into the slide. I repeated the exact process on the other side as well. So for this application, your drawer should be the same exact size, but because I put different hinges in it, I'm gonna check it just in case. I like this simple method, two pieces of scrap, baby clamp. You're gonna spread it out until it's snug on these two, and this will give you your total measurement of your drawer. 31 and 7 eighths. It'll also help you know if your slides are uneven because the back should be equally as snug as the front, and it is. So we're gonna start making a drawer. So I use scrap that I had just laying around the shop. These are all just kind of cut to size. I cut these to three and a half inches. If you don't have scraps laying around, just buy two one by fours from Home Depot. Two eight footers will be more than enough to make one drawer. I preset the blade to a quarter inch deep and I'm just doing a test cut here to make sure everything lines up and it looks how I want it. Now I'm gonna take one of the original pieces, line it up roughly a quarter inch above the bottom. So now I'm going to make the first cut on all the actual drawer pieces. Now that you cut the groove into all your pieces, you're going to slide the fence to take one blade length, but shoot for just under a full blade length because you can always remove more later. If you cut too much, it'll be too loose and that's just not what we're going for. So this is still a little tight for my liking, so I moved the, the fence just a tiny bit. Just to take out that little extra cut, I ran everything through one more time. And you want the piece to slide in there, but still be relatively snug. So here's the piece of MDF bottom we're using. I'm going to slide this on there to test the fit of the actual piece. Perfect. So the drawer needs to be 31 and 7 eighths wide and 21 deep. The 21 deep is how deep the other drawer was, so I'm just going to replicate that. So now that we have our four pieces cut, we're gonna get the drawer to the actual size it needs to be. I cut all these about an inch or two long, just to be safe when I was cutting the grooves in here. We are gonna use the Craig jig to put this together. This is an easy to use system. A lot of people have this. You can pick this one up pretty cheap. 
I think this model is like $100. So as expected, our drawer is too long. So get your measurements here and then cut your drawer to your final dimension. I'm gonna cut both boards at the same time so I can ensure they're the same length so that everything is square in the end. So now I'm just gonna lay out all my pieces to ensure that everything is the correct dimensions. We were going for 31 and 7 eighths and we are right on. So you could do math to figure out the dimensions of your panel, but if you're not good at math, just simply measure to the outside of both the grooves you cut and subtract an eighth inch. Same thing on the short side, bump it up to the outside of the groove, get your measurement and subtract an eighth inch. You can buy these sheets of MDF at Home Depot quite cheap or any big box store. I think a whole sheet's roughly $12. Now I'm just gonna test fit everything to make sure everything lines up. You don't want the drawer super tight. You wanna have room to, for it to float. Now when we're drilling the Craig holes, you wanna put the Craig holes on the outside, the outside of the two long pieces. They won't be visible once the drawers assemble. My drawer sides are three quarters of an inch thick, so I'm gonna use these inch and a quarter screws just gonna apply a little glue so everything stays in place. Apply clamps for light pressure so nothing moves as you're screwing in the screws. Exact same process on the back side. I'm gonna give the outside corners a quick measure to make sure the drawer is square. You wanna ensure the drawer is square so that the drawer opens and closes easily. Just gonna rough sand everything to clean it up with 120 grit. I'm gonna pry off the drawer front. They had about 40 staples in here. I even had to get some help just because I didn't wanna mess up the front. I also don't recommend putting the face frame on the floor and stepping on it, but it worked. Now I'm gonna measure the height of the screw holes on the slide. These are an inch and a half. I set my combination square to an inch and a quarter and translated that line on both sides. These slides had the same release mechanism as our original slides, so we're just gonna remove these line up the screw holes with the line you transferred onto your drawer and then screw three screws in. Repeat the process on the other side, slide your drawer in, open it and close it a few times. Everything should go in and out quite easily. Now I'm gonna countersink some holes just to attach the drawer face to the drawer. Now I'm using the same countersink bit and to line this up, this is way easier with two people, but Jess had to film. So now line it up how you need it, drill the hole through the original handle holes, and then continue the hole all the way through if it did not. I'm also gonna countersink the backside so that the screws sit flush. You can get longer screws in Amazon so you don't have to drill into your actual drawer. Now attach the handle. I do not recommend you use a drill unless you are comfortable. You can easily strip these out. Once the handle is installed and everything's lined up, go ahead and Screw these in super slow. You don't want to strip these out. And that is it. Your drawer is done. Now open and close it about 400 times and then eventually fill it with your desired items. The new slides are full extension. And you can pull the drawer all the way out. Here's an old drawer. And this one only comes out 16 inches versus this one, the full 21. These aren't soft clothes. These are just cheaper, heavy duty slides. All right, my friends, thanks for checking out the video. The drawer is finished. I'll make dividers at some point, probably in another year and a half. Jess has been on my butt for about a year and a half, just giving me crap every week about fixing and replacing this drawer. So to be fair, I'm going to be equally as annoying for the next year and a half and make her appreciate the drawer I made. So thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Make sure you guys go over to Instagram and check us out there. That's where we kind of hang out the most. Still trying to grind through and figure out the whole YouTube game, but we're just going to keep pumping out video and figure it out. Thanks for following along. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey. Hey. Come, come open this drawer.